What's up makers, April Dunham here. For this Template Tuesday video, I'm going to be showing you how you can utilize the Center of Excellence theming component. I've talked about how you can brand your Power Apps in the past, but this theming component really takes it to the next level. I'll walk you through how to download and install the solution and how to use it to create your own custom theme and use that within your Power Apps applications. But first, here's the intro. These theming components that I'm going to walk you through are part of the Center of Excellence Starter Kit. If you haven't heard of it yet, the Center of Excellence, aka COE, is a collection of tools that are designed to help you get started to develop a strategy and adoption for supporting the Power Platform in your organization. It includes things like reports and dashboards to easily see what types of Power Apps and flows you have out there and manage them better as well as some nurture components related to training in app in a day and things like that. The team is constantly adding new features to the COE starter kit. And one of those new features is a theming component piece. What the theming component element of this is going to allow you to do is give you a theme editor. So this is really just a canvas app that's going to let you walk through and create a custom theme. Then from the end user's point of view, there's another power app that's a theme gallery. So all the custom themes that you've created in the editor application will show up here Users can click on that, see all the colors and everything of the theme, and download a Power Apps template which contains the theme to use for their new application. Now, the good thing with this theming components is there's no dependencies on anything else in this COE starter kit. So if you don't have the permissions or the time or you don't really need any of the other COE stuff and you just want the theming components, we can install just those pieces. You will need to download the whole COE starter kit but then we can just extract out the theme and components element. So to do that, we'll scroll down here on this docs.microsoft.com site, which I'll give you the URL to in the video notes, and we'll see a link here to download the COE starter kit. So I'm gonna click that, and that's gonna start a download of a zip file to my computer. And if we go and open this up, and let's extract this, we'll see that there's actually several things in the solution. And the only one that we're concerned about for the theming piece is this, Center of Excellence theming. This is a managed solution, so we're going to need to go into Power Apps and import this in. And the first thing you need to know about this theming component piece is it all relies on the common data service. That's where it's going to store the backend information about the theme and all the different colors and the associated files and all of that. So since there is a dependency on the common data service to use these theming components editor and browser, and if you're using the theme in your application, that means you will need the Power Apps per user per app plan or the Power Apps per user plan. If you did need to use this in a situation for say, when you're using SharePoint as a data source and you didn't want to incur the additional cost to rely on CDS, we can actually extract out what they built here with the theming components and create a database in SharePoint that will store the underlying information and switch a few things around to make that happen. I'm not going to show how to do that in this video. I really wanna keep this focused on what we get out of the box with the theming component and how we can use that in our applications. But if that's something you're interested in, I can make a future video on that. Now let's walk through how to get this installed. So we've downloaded the theming component here. We know the solution we wanna import. So once we have that, let's switch back over to Power Apps. So we'll go to make.powerapps.com and click on the Solutions tab, and we'll select the Import option here. Then we'll select Browse, go into our COE Starter Kit folder, select that theming Manage Zip, click Open, Next, and that's going to process some things, and then finally, Import. Now I've already went through the import process, so it's letting me know that the package is already installed. So I'm going to cancel out on this, but if you're installing this fresh, you would click import and then it would run and it can take a few minutes. So say up to five minutes to finish importing. But once it does import, you'll see the solution here and it will be called theming. So if we click into the solution, we'll see what it's going to give us. So we'll see we have a few canvas apps. The COE theme editor app is where we'll go to create the themes. COE Theme Gallery is a Canvas app our end users will use to browse the themes available and to create a new app based off of the theme. App Template Phone and App Template Tablet are how it handles creating new applications based on a theme. 
So I'll walk through how this works when we go into the theme editor application, just here in a second. And then we have a shared component library piece. And then the rest is the underlying entities and data structure. So all the data for the themes you create are going to be stored here in the theme entity. Then we have the styles. So that maps to all the individual styles for like the background colors and the text font sizes and all of that. That's mapped here. And then we have assets. We also have a few custom controls that these applications are using for a color picker component and a front loader. So we'll see how this all comes together as we explore the applications. So if I go back to my apps tab, all of the applications, the Canvas app should show here once you import that solution. And the one you'll start with is this COE theme editor. So we'll just play this app by clicking on it. And when you first install, this is going to be blank. You won't have any custom themes here yet. This is where you'll go to create the new ones. So we'll click this create new theme option here. And this will take us to the editor screen. The first thing you want to do is give your new theme a name. And now we can start configuring. So we have a few primary colors. We have label control colors, background, and border. And then below we can define things like the radius value. So for our buttons, like we see here, if we wanted them to have rounded corners, we could set a radius value, say to 50 instead of zero. And you'll see as we start changing some of these things, it updates the controls on the page in real time so you can see what that's going to do. So if I didn't like that border radius, I can just switch it back to zero and everything goes back to being square. The same thing with the colors here. Uh, as I start changing these, I can click on one of the colors. So if I don't like this bright orange, I can click on that and I get my color picker. So I can change that to a red. And again, it's going to update that in real time. And it's going to take all different kinds of controls and show you what this theme color will look like in each of the controls. We can even change the default body font value. So we can change that, say, to Arial instead and the font size as well. We can make it a little bit bigger if we'd like. So we have different font sizes for text emphasis versus text body. So it's really as simple as that, but you'll just play around with the properties. It updates them real time on the right so you can see what it looks like. And then once you're ready, we need to click this publish theme option. Now this is going to take us here where we need to do a bit of additional configuration. So this is where those two other Canvas apps that were a part of the solution come into play. So what we're going to need to do is go back into Power Apps and update each of these Canvas apps with this in the OnStart. So it's going to give us a variable with our theme name that we need to copy and replace in the OnStart of these two apps, because this is what the end user will see. They'll have an option to download these reference apps that you just created, and it will have all of the code in the OnStart for them that will apply their theme. And we'll see how that looks, and we'll open these applications up in edit mode so we can take a look. So we'll leave this tab open and we'll go back to the make.powerapps portal and we'll find these two applications here. So we need to touch both the app template phone and the app template tablet. So we'll start with the phone first. We'll click and edit this. And you might get this message when you open it. Don't worry, that's just saying that this particular application might contain some components in it. So I'll just click open app. And what we'll wanna do here is go to the app in the OnStart property. And you'll see this is where all the magic is happening from a theming standpoint. It's setting all of these colors based off of your theme. The first thing that you'll have to do is we need to replace this set theme name with what we copied from our theme so that it will look up and get the correct theme name and apply all of your styles. So it's really doing kind of the same thing that I was doing in my video where I showed you how to create a branding screen. So we use the app on start and we define our color values here in the beginning. That's making it a bit more user friendly where someone with the skills can create the theme and have all of this in the app on start. And if someone wants to use it, all they have to worry about is clicking download and going through an install process. Well, now that we have that, we don't want to overwrite this application. We actually want to download a copy of this to our computer so that we can then associate it and upload that in this COE theme editor application we have open. So to do that, we'll go to File, Save As, and select this computer. And it's going to give us a message that it's ready to download. So we'll download that. And now we can close out of this app. So now back here on our theme editor, we can select Upload File for the app template phone and point that to the application that we just downloaded. And we need to do the same process for the tablet application. So we'll go here, open that in edit mode, and we'll go to the app on Start again and replace that first line with the name of our new theme. We'll go to File, Save As, This Computer, and Download. 
Now we'll go back to our theme editor, upload that tablet application, and scroll down and click complete. This is going to publish this template. So now we see that here in our theme editor, there's our super cool red theme. Now from an end user perspective, let's see how that works. This would be an administrator or a designer creating the theme. Now, if someone in your organization wants to use it for a new application, they would click on this COE theme gallery application. So we'll click on that to play it. So any themes that we just created in the theme editor are gonna show here. So we can see the two themes. So if I click on our red one and click the view option, it's going to show all of the colors used, so, and their hex values and all the properties as far as the font face and the text sizes and all that. And it will show a live preview of how it works and how it's going to look. And so now all they have to do to use it is download that application file that we just mapped in the theme editor. So if they know they're wanting to create a tablet layout application, they would select this option. Or if a phone, they would select that. So let's try, say, this tablet one. So they would click to download that. Now let's see how we go about using it because this is an MS app file, not a zip file. So for example, in the applications that I've shared with you for Template Tuesday, you'll go in here and you would import the application. We need to do this a bit differently since it produces an MS app file. So what you'll wanna do is go into Power Apps, click New App, and act like you're building a new Canvas application. So we're not actually gonna build a new one from here, we're going to go and open that application we downloaded with our theme. So let's select a tablet layout here in the blank app option. And now instead of saving or doing anything with this app, we wanna click the file and we'll see an option here for open. If we click that and select the browse option, we can go and find that application we just downloaded from our theme browser. So there's our app template tablet. We can click open. And here, just click don't save because we don't need to save this dummy application we just created. That'll close that and open up our brand new blank tablet app with our theme applied. So if we click on the app and look at the on start, you see it's pulling in all of that information from our theme. So we have a theme name there and it's mapping all of these colors. So now if I go and let's insert a button, we'll see that it has all of our properties here. It's red, it's a nice big bold aerial text. So now the end user can go in and start building out their brand new application with their theme applied. And again, how this is working. So if we take a look at the button, for example, and look at its fill color, you see it's using the primary color to value variable. So if we look at our app on start again, we see we're setting a global variable called primary color to value, and we're doing a lookup to the theme styles collection and finding the property that has that value and getting its value. Now this theme styles is looking up to a entity called styles. And it's going to get the styles and return those that map to this theme's name. So that's really all there is to it to start using this new theming component in the COE. Hopefully this will give you yet another way that you can easily brand your applications and power apps. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and I'll catch you in the next video.